In 1983, a team of deeply pious scientists conducted a radical experiment in an undisclosed facility. Scientists theorized that a human without access to any senses or ways to perceive stimuli would be able to, would be able to perceive the presence of God. They believed that the five senses clouded our awareness of eternity, and without them, a human could actually establish contact, contact with God by thought. An elderly man who claimed to have nothing worth or nothing left to live for was the only test subject to volunteer. To purge himself, to purge him of all senses, the scientists performed a complex operation in which every, ner in which every nerve connection to the brain was surgically severed. Although the test subject retained full muscular function, he could not hear, see, taste, smell, or feel. With no possible way to communicate or even sense the outside world, he was alone with his thoughts. Scientists monitored him as he spoke aloud about his state of mind in jumbled, slurred sentences that he couldn't even hear. After four days, the man claimed to be hearing hushed, un unintelligible voices in his head. Assuming it was the onset of psychosis, the scientists paid little attention to the man's concerns. Two days later, the man cried that he'd hear his dead wife speaking with him, and even more, he could communicate back. The scientists were intrigued, but were not convinced until the subject started naming dead relatives of the scientists. He repeated personal information to the scientists only their dead spouses and parents would have known. At this point, a sizable portion of the scientists left the study. After a week of conversing with the deceased through his thoughts, the subject became distressed, saying that the voices were becoming overwhelming. In his, in his every waking moment, his consciousness was bombarded by hundreds of voices that refused to leave him alone. He frequently threw himself against the wall, trying to elicit a pain response. He begged the scientists for sedatives so that the voices would stop. The tactic worked for three days until he started having severe night terrors. The subject repeatedly said that he could hear and see the deceased in his dreams. Only a day later, the subject began to scream and claw at his non-functional eyes, hoping to sense something in the physical world. The hysterical subject now said that the dead voices, the voices of the dead were deafening and hostile, speaking of hell and the end of the world. At one point he yelled, No heaven, no forgiveness, for five hours straight. He continually begged to be killed, but the scientists were convinced that he was close to establishing contact with God. After another day, the subject can no longer form coherent sentences. Seemingly mad, he started to bite off chunks of flesh from his arm. The scientists rushed into the test chamber and restrained him to a table so he could not kill himself. After a few hours of being tied down, the subject halted his struggling, struggling and screaming. He stared blankly at the ceiling as teardrops faintly streaked across his face. For two weeks, the subject had to be ma manually rehydrated due to the constant crying. Eventually, he turned his head and, despite his blindness, made, made focused eye contact with the scientist for the first time in the, in the study. He whispered, I have spoken with God, and he has abandoned us, and his vital signs stopped. There was no apparent cause of death.